Hello everyone. Now in this particular video, we are going to discuss question number three from GATE DA24 exam. Now this particular question is from aptitude section, but you can consider this question as a part of technical section also because this question is based on counting principle. Okay. And we already discussed this. What is counting principle? Now let's try to apply the same concept here. How many four digits positive integers divisible by three can be formed using the only digits this much? So we have five digits and we need to find out how many four digit integers are possible which are divisible by three such that no digit appears more than once in a number. It means that repetition is not allowed, right? But first we should know the condition for divisibility. So when I say my number is divisible by 3, do you know what is, the, what is the condition for divisibility? So when I say my number is divisible by 3, if the sum of, sum of all numbers is divisible by 3, then I can say, that particular number is divisible by 3. For example, 2, 4, 3, right? So, if I just take the summation of these numbers, 2 plus 4 plus 3, that is basically 9. So, 9 is divisible by 3, right? Let's take, for example, 81. Again, 8 plus 1, that is basically 9. So, again, 9 is divisible by 3, right? Now, let's take any number here. 1, 4, 6, 7. Now, how I can check whether this particular number is divisible by 3 or not? So, 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7. So, 5 plus 6, 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. But 18 is divisible by 3. It means that this particular number is divisible by 3. Right? Now, let's take one more example. 1, 3, 4, 6. Now, 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6. So, 4 plus 4, 8. 8 plus 6, that is 14. Now, this particular number is not divisible by 3. So, I can say 1, 3, 4, 6 is not divisible by 3, right? So, first I need to find out the numbers. If I take the summation of those numbers, that is divisible by 3. So, I have this particular condition. I know this particular condition, right? Now, we have given the this particular numbers. So, 1, 3, 4, 6, 7. So, there are 5 numbers, okay? So, what is the summation of these five numbers? Let's do that. 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7, right? So, 4 plus 4, 8. 8 plus 6, 14. 14 plus 7, 21. Now, whether 21 is divisible by 3 or not? Yes, that is divisible by 3. Now, if I take the permutation of this particular numbers, five numbers, right? So, that will be divisible by 3. Whether I will take 1, 3, 4, 6, 7 or 1, 4, 3, 6, 7 or 1, 6, 7, 3, 4. Anyway, in all these arrangements, the summation of all the 5 numbers is basically 21 that is divisible by 3, right? But here we want 4 digit positive integers, 4 digits, right? Now, what if I can subtract one number from this 21? So, let's say for example, 21 minus x. Now, if I can subtract one number from this 21 and if that particular thing is divisible by 3, then I can say, I can take those combination, right? Then I can say that remaining numbers will be divisible by 3, right? Now, let's try one by one. Now, suppose let's say x equals to 1. So, when I say x equals to 1, so 21 minus 1, which is 20, not divisible by 3, right? So, I cannot exclude 1 from the set what about 3x equals to 3 so 21 minus 3 is basically what 18 now 18 is divisible by 3 so i can exclude 3 from the set now the remaining set is what 1 4 6 7 now here i have four digits right so if i take the combination of this four digit the summation will be 18 and 18 is divisible by 3 right so i got my one combination now, what if I remove x equals to 4? So, 21 minus 4, that is 17, not divisible by 3. 
what if I remove x equals to 6? 21 minus 6 that is 15. So again 15 is divisible by 3. So if I remove 6 from this particular numbers, what I will get? 1, 3, 4, 7, right? So if I take the summation of these four numbers, that is divisible by 3, right? Now what about x equals to 7? Now if I x equals to 7. If I remove 7 from 21, what I will get? I will get 14, but 14 is not divisible by 3, right? It means that out of this particular numbers, if I remove 3, I will I left with 4 digits. If I remove 6, I left with 4 digits, right? And I am interested in 4 digits positive integers, right? So here you can see I have two combinations, 1, 4, 6, 7 and 1, 3, 4, 7. Now by using these four numbers, in how many ways I can get the four digit numbers? We already discussed this, right? Now by using four numbers, how many four digit numbers I can get? That is basically what? 4, P, 4. Because order is important here. 1, 4, 6, 7 is different and 1, and 1, 6, 4, 7 is different, right? So order is important. So that is 4, P, 4. That is 4 factorial which is equals to 24. Again by using this particular combination. How many 4 digit numbers are possible by using this particular 4 numbers? Same thing 4p4. Right? Again 4 factorial. So this is 24. Now by using this combination I will get 24 numbers. By using this particular combination I will get 24 numbers. So in total how many numbers I will get? That is 24 plus 24, 48. Okay. So, correct answer. So, so, the correct option for this particular question is option number B, that is 48. Simple question asks for 1 marks. You should know the divisibility condition for 3. If you know that number is divisible by 3, then you should know. Then you have to think, I need to find out 4 digit numbers, right? But I have 5 digits. So, I need to remove one digits. So, I need to find out the combination of four digits in a such a way that the summation of those four digits must be divisible by three, right? So, this is one of the way to find out the combination of four numbers such that the summation is divisible by three. So, I have taken this particular uh, way, okay? So, I have followed this particular way. I hope you understand this particular example. Simple question. It was asked for one mark, I guess, right? But the thing is that you should know this particular thing divisible by 3 and you have to think in that direction how I can get the combination of 4 digit from this particular 5 digit, right? So, this is the way, right? Here I got two combinations. If I take the summation of this 4 digits, I will get 18 or 15 which are which is divisible by 3. So, then I have to think how many permutations or how many arrangements are possible by using this 4 digits. So, 4 factorial. Similarly, here also 4 factorial. So, total 48. So, correct answer is option number B. I hope you understand this particular question. I will add similar type of question in the test. Please try to solve those questions. Okay. So, that's it from this particular video. Thank you.